Hello Virgo, thank you for clicking on my channel and welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your forecast for July and August. Navigating the woo. Messages from above. We have the Ten of Cups for your first foundation stone or cornerstone. That is about emotional fulfillment within the home. That's a good start. We have a message coming towards you fast approaching. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. This is about self nurturing, wisdom, preparation. Four of Pentacles. In Virgo energy, we have you being reserved, holding back, perhaps hanging on to something that you should release. But this feels more like because it's right beside the Queen of Pentacles. What you do in preparation for the coming winter months is nobody's business. Someone's come to the door and here you are taking your accomplishments off the wall so that they are not noticed. This may be the, the messenger coming with some important news for you. Seven of Athens. And we're now coming to the heart of the reading. Page of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. Five of Chalices. So we see you being reserved. Holding back. Because of past grief. Past sorrow. Past pains and hurts. An offer of love is coming in for you single Virgos. This is new love and you're probably fearing it, remembering the pain of the past. This is either a new love or the rebirth of a current love. Perhaps it was you holding back that caused this sorrow and grief. This new love is very nurturing or rebirth of the current love is very nurturing. In that nurturing too, you begin something new. You have a gift. You're honing your skills. The dog beside you, that's your guardian. Spirit energy. Spirit energy. The Seven of Athens is about loose ends being tied up. Facing the obstacle to kick it out of the way in order to reach home with the goods. Loose ends. So perhaps you're doing a little shadow work this July and August with all the events that are going on around the world. It may trigger those thoughts, reassessing your life, doing a little shadow work, saying, what did I do wrong in the past so I don't repeat it? I want to nurture this love. Fortune's wheel. All you have to do is swing that foot and kick that polecat out of the way, Virgo. Luck is on your side. Fortune's wheel, the universe, is here to aid you. That emotional fulfillment. You are about to accomplish another level here. Two of Athens. Very important decision. So when this message comes in, um, comes a decision. Do you, this may be about starting again because we have a page. Do you begin a new way of earning? Do you become an entrepreneur? Do you become an apprentice to someone else?
and how does it affect this love? Another page. Some of you might be dealing with uh, the influence, you know, of the making decisions because of children. Uh, but this is a path opening for you, the beginning of something beautiful. You just have to take that first step and the light will continue to shine and open. It's a portal. You're entering a portal here. Now in true Virgo energy, you are standing in your energy here. This Knight of Pentacles moves very slowly, but he crosses that finish line, gets every step correctly. So you don't want to repeat past grief, sorrow. You are taking careful steps, baby steps. And this decision is head over heart, heart over head. This looks like you're strategizing. It really does. Strategizing. Good foundation. Good cornerstones. <clears throat> Virgo, please. Let's clarify this message for Virgo, please. For July and August energies to help them navigate the woo we are facing. There's that grief and sorrow card. So in the past, what fulfilled you in the home? Tragedies. Doing a little dark night of the soul here, Virgo. Sorrow, grief, looking at the past. past failures Virgo energy independence a message that comes in that is going to help bring in this independent way of um, taking care of yourself nurturing self Page of Pentacles, once again, it's the same as this card. This offer, you know, perhaps it's even a peace offering after, you know, a, a breakup with someone you loved or you've been with. An opportunity, an offer to start something new here. Oh my goodness, this would almost, this indicates to me, Virgo, these are two cards of the same. Are you holding too tightly to something? Do you need to be more careful or cautious? You're really juggling here. Can I overcome this obstacle? Perhaps you have a lot on your plate here, and that's why you are you have these energies of holding back, holding tightly to protect your heart. Perhaps trying to stay busy in order to avoid the issue. And seem to be successful at, at sidestepping too. <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles. Now, isn't this interesting? These two cards are the same as these two cards. Queen of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. It's about money. Obviously. A new beginning. Honing your skills. Nurturing your abilities. Perhaps you're, you're burying yourself into that monetary side of providing that shelter that safe place that place that you can where you're independent working hard at it whether it is for a distraction or to hone new skills 
you're you're being protected here to i think spirits taking you to a certain level here of understanding yourself deception you do not want to be deceived is this new love deceptive is there loose ends from a love that need to be taken care of did somebody deceive you and break your heart we do have the ten of cups which is about emotional fulfillment in the home before you can move on these loose ends must be tied up within yourself fortune's wheel that portal ready or not virgo that portal is opening and it's going to suck you in like a vacuum your path that started out with one step is now wide open accelerated energy Yeah, you'll make the decision, take the leap of faith, and I don't think your feet are even going to touch the ground. You're going to be caught up in that energy, trusting yourself. That feels like the moment of freedom. The finish of the shadow work that takes you to the next level. Look at this to your soulmate. Is this all about reconciliation? Is this about tying up those loose ends of the past so you can begin this new slate with someone who's entering your life? Look at this. Knight of Pentacles is slow. Knight of Cups is swift. Sweep you off your feet. Offer you the finest cup of wine there is in the land their cup of love emotional love look at how this aspects soulmate the home love nurturing finances dealing with past deceptions or current ones that will very satisfactory this july and august looks like a bit of spiritual or inner housework for you virgo nice for this to land here that's quite that's like two people laying that foundation stone together Let's ask your, um, your ancestors what their message is to you for July and August. And I couldn't help myself because of the state of affairs in the world. I had to, um, I actually did the autumn forecasts before I even did these. I wanted to look ahead because I knew how fast things were moving in the world. So uh, they're not public yet, but if you want to go and have a look at them for yourself, they're in the member it's in the members area and your first it's free to join your first month is free you can cancel any time and take advantage take advantage of all that is offered there you can pick from three decks to shuffle up and get messages you have a 55 percent discount for a personal reading and there are different series and there are all kinds of treasures. Do check it out. Take advantage of it. And as I said, you can cancel any time. You know what? I'm not going to take that card, Virgo, because I was yapping while I shuffled. A message from Virgo's ancestors, please. Spirit guides, star family. Oh, this is very fitting for the energies that are showing up on the board here. Number 49. 
Are you ready for this, Virgo? <clears throat> Let me help with some light. I don't know if that helped or not. We have soul retrieval. Soul retrieval is a practice that helps you recover a part of yourself. It is definitely showing up in here, isn't it? This whole reading has been some shadow work. Loose ends. Your energy, your enthusiasm, or your innocence that you have lost. At first, we'll use soul retrieval to recover from our hurts and heal our childhood wounds. Later, we learn to journey to recover our original nature, that self that never left the Garden of Eden, who still, still, who still speaks to the rivers, to the trees, and to God. When we return to Eden, we are whole again. You are no longer fragmented. You are one with creation. You have healed the cause of the pain you feel. So you do not need to dwell on it any longer. Really, it's true. If you are still hovering over an old wound, find a new flight path. Don't be distracted with the little stuff you've already mastered. Go for the big one, the journey back to Eden. When did you compromise what you truly believed in to be loved or accepted by someone? Think back over your life and find a time or times when this happened. You never vow never to compromise your integrity again. What have you agreed to in the name of love that you know is deeply wrong? Make it right this instant. So it's telling you that you've done the work, the shadow work. Compromising integrity. However that resonates for you or speaks to you, Virgo, we have, even with this deceptive energy or loose end energy, we have this powerful love energy with soulmate, home, and lover. It will be a stepping stone for you. And it will be a good time for you to take that step. It talked about taking that step. We saw the page of pentacles show up twice to indicate taking that step. Preparing you. I hope that helped. Thanks for joining me, Virgo. Please show some love. Hit the like button or the rumble button. And join us on Sunday nights when we go live and party. Pull free cards in the, in the chat. Bye for now.